Hello everybody, today we will be taking a detailed look at how much I've made on my iOS app that I released sometime in September of 2022. Okay, so starting right off at the sales page on App Store Connect, we can see that I have made a total of $181 in sales since release. So here we have a graph showing the amount of sales per day. Uh, it spiked at launch which is uh, kind of natural that's when i had my short marketing campaign which we'll talk about later but it spiked uh, on the launch day then it has slowly and steadily be getting yeah basically one sale once in a while which is not a lot but over time it definitely builds up so with 181 dollars i would actually say that i'm pretty happy with it and kind of surprised at the uh, yeah, that it's still actually selling. Like, look at this. December 31st, it got a sale. Like, this was one week ago, made a sale, which is very cool. Also here, we see that on the 17th of May, that's our national holiday in Norway, it spiked. And during the summer months, maybe. Okay, so $181 in sales does not actually mean $181 in profit. Now that is because Apple takes a large cut from the sales made from in-app purchases. So if I head over to the proceeds tab, this is how much I've actually gotten paid by Apple. So we see that it's almost, it's $80 less, which is kind of absurd, it's like, <laughs> Yeah, Apple takes a big cut. Anyways, I've made $101 in profit shit. from that. Now, if we divide this amount on the number of days this app has been public, it turns out to be $0.2 every single day. I'll be the first to admit that this is not a lot of money to be making every day from an app, but over time, it definitely builds up to something that's of a substantial amount. I also talked about this app in a previous video and I got a lot of questions, especially around marketing. Did I pay for any marketing in the App Store or do anything else? Now, the answer for that is no, I didn't pay anything for marketing on the app. All I did was I sat down in my school cafeteria where I study with AirDrop on and I was just airdropping the App Store link to everybody around. And I did that for two days, as well as I put up some flyers in uh, elevators and hallways and such. And uh, that's all. And judging by the amount of sales during the first month or months, we see that it's not, <laughs> it's not a lot. So I don't actually think the marketing had any effect. My idea for this app was that if it's gonna grow, I think it has a good chance of doing so organically because this is an app that you use in a social setting with other people around. And I thought that, hey, if one person has it, maybe some other people see it and they want it as well. And it can just grow organically. And actually, I think that probably has happened in some cases because like overall sales has been, yeah, I mean, I guess I have some less sales now than I did before, but still, it's still coming in and it has to come from somewhere, right? So that's uh, how I think I end up with all of the sales. But anyways, we can also look at the units tab, which is quite interesting. This is the amount of downloads the app has. So it has 480 downloads, which definitely is not a lot. But what's very interesting is that the conversion rate for buying the full version is very high. We see that 52 people has actually bought the full version of the app, meaning that over 10% of every download leads to a sale, which I think is kind of bonkers. So with that, I actually do think that this app has some potential and I've actually begun a full rewrite of the app and I will keep you updated on this later, but if you want some sneak peeks, I recommend you, what the fuck is going on? I recommend you to check out my blog uh, and sign up for my newsletter, and I will keep you updated with stuff throughout the building journey. Okay, now let's take a look at the actual app and see what it is and how I'm getting sales. So the app is a Norwegian drinking game app called Hindre Spørsmål translates to 100 questions and it's basically just uh, a collection of questions that people play in a social setting this is not a very original idea 
but Norwegian loves these types of shit. So uh, it is hand drawn, as you might see. I think that is pretty cool. Now, there are multiple games you can play. You have the classic game. You have some other ones as well. But if you want to play other ones, you have to buy the full version of the app. And that's how I make my money. So here it says, get access to all games, 33 kroners. And if you hit buy, then you will be prompted with an in-app purchase and you get access to everything in the app. So is this business model working? I actually think so, uh, considering that almost 10% of the users has bought the full version. A lot of people in my previous video pointed out that, oh, you have to pay $100 a year for an Apple developer membership, which you need in order to publish stuff on the App Store. And that is true. So if I take that into account, I have made $1. And that's even not true because this is over two years. So I've actually lost uh, $99. <laughs> but luckily for me, I'm not doing this for the money at all. Stuff like this for me is more of a hobby and I generally enjoy programming and thought it was fun creating this. If you want to make apps, I would definitely take this into account, but I wouldn't fret it. I mean, if you just change your mindset a bit and think, okay, I pay $100 a year for a hobby. I mean, it suddenly becomes a lot more reasonable. So uh yeah i will continue creating stuff on the side and if you are interested in following along like i mentioned hit the subscribe button and also join the newsletter and we will see each other very soon boom